My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. I'm gonna start by going in with Sundown, which is a really pretty orange shade that I'm gonna use as my transition color. Now, I feel like I'm repeating myself throughout all these tutorials, but I want to be in as in as I can, so that transition shades help to blend out other colors. So now we're going to go in with a slightly darker color, which is Ridge, and put that in a little more tightly in our crease. So we're just going to be using a more precise blending brush. Now I'm going to go in with Suntan, which is like a mahogany brown, and I'm going to use some sort of packing brush, which is my E25, and I slowly pack that onto the outer third of my eye, and then I'm going to I'm going to use this Milani Strobe Light Liquid Highlighter to prime my lids for the lid shade. I found that using a liquid highlighter really makes metallic shadows pop, and I'm all about my eyeshadow popping, so that's what we're doing. First, I went in with this color Bliss, which is really pretty, but I wanted a more bronze look. So I ended up going in with True Bronze, which is such a gorgeous color. Oh, there's my lunch. I'm at work. I'm on my lunch break. See how much I guys love you guys? So I just go in with my finger as well. I'm having a little dance party with myself. You know how I do. So now I'm going to take Magma, which is a darker brown and a pencil brush and put that in the outer V of my eye, blending that in with the lid shade True Bronze. So first I just lay the color down, and then I'll go back in with my E25 and blend it out. And to blend it out, I just kind of pat it like I did when I was applying that one shade. And I vow that my child will be well and down, like his daddy. Mm -hmm. And tell him that your mama mm -hmm. had a fatty. He looked up with me said, daddy, that's the reason why you had me up. We was practicing to one day your ass was through the packaging. You know what though? You're my favorite accident. So now I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacob, Jacobs Eyeliner in Marigold, which is a really pretty like copper color, and put that in my lower waterline. And then first I'm going to go back in with Suntan and put that in my lower lash line to blend that out. And then I go back in with our transition color, which oh, I forget the name of it, but just to kind of help blend it out. And now I added some Fix Plus to my brush and I'm gonna go back in with our lid shade, which is True Bronze. And just kind of intensify that. Now I'm taking this Marc Jacobs Eyeliner in Earthquake and I'm gonna line my upper waterline. And I also put a small band of it on my lash line. And then I take a slanted brush and go in with that really dark brown deep dive. And I'm kind of using that to go over the band of eyeliner I used. And, or you could just use the shadow of the eyeliner. You don't have to put an eyeliner base down first. Okay, so to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to do something kind of weird. I'm going to use these Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders in Gold Digger. But here's the funny thing about these. So they both say Gold Digger. Okay, different fonts. I bought this from Sephora for $28. I bought this from AliExpress for like $3. I was like, how can that be the exact same product? So we're gonna do a comparison and see if it's, I don't know, 
I mean, the packaging is different. This is the authentic packaging. This has like a symbol on it. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. So I'm going to go in with the one I bought from Sephora. Oh, damn. I went in heavy. So now I'm going to go in with the one from AliExpress. I need to put the same amount of product as I put on the first. Oh my god. Wow. They look identical. I will do swatches on my hands as well so you guys can see what I'm seeing. All right, let me get some from the Sephora one. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the one from AliExpress. God. Like, I don't know if you guys are seeing the same thing I'm seeing, but those look identical so this is the one from Sephora and this is the one from Aliexpress it can't really be a real artist couture highlighter do you think look at that how bizarre is that yeah my thoughts exactly. Let me use this Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Shoot, I forgot to curl my lashes. I remember when I found out that you were supposed to curl your lashes before mascara, like my mind was blown. I was like, what? That makes no sense. But it actually does work better. Um, should I move on to the face? Do you guys care? <sighs> my so I'm gonna use this Stellar Brilliant Primer. It's an illuminating primer. It actually has kind of like a silicone feel to it, kind of like a, a Smashbox primer or a professional, you know, like that slippery feeling, but it feels good. It's not like drying like some of those can be. I think this is like an illuminating primer, but it's also supposed to help blur pores. And I can definitely see that. Wow, I actually really like that. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick in Birch. So, I have used this once before. And I liked it. It was definitely comparable to like my Hourglass Stick Foundation and my Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. Now I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. Damn, that just squirted halfway across the room. And then just kind of fill in areas where I don't have that stick foundation. If you're wondering why I am wearing two foundations, um, I'm just a bougie ass bitch and I am full coverage. I'll ride or die. 
full coverage all the way, baby. I don't think I have a brush down here. Look at that. I don't. Should I just bounce it out with my beauty blender or get a brush? I guess I'll use my beauty blender. Or my Real Techniques one. Let me say the right product. So I just got back from vacation for my birthday. Um, we went to, we had like a cottage in Margaritaville and it was like a five bedroom, like three story kind of townhouse um, with five bedrooms. So a whole bunch of my friends and I stayed there for three nights, had a really good time until the last night when my best friend and this girl that I didn't, I don't know, that was my first time meeting her, but I guess they worked together and I used to work with all them, but so I don't know this girl, that was my first time meeting her, but I guess there had been some tension between them for a while and the other girl, you know, turned it physical. It's like we're grown ass adults, like, it's not necessary. So for concealer, I'm going to go in with this Hourglass Vanish Stick and Champagne Flash. Put that on the high points of my cheek. I kind of make a C. Um, Cupid's bow. I got to wear some dresses that I had been wanting to wear. Soup. I love that. Um, <laughs> the like sheer black long dress with like the sequins and pearls from Fashion Nova. My friend was like, I need that in my life. That needs to be in my closet. I probably won't ever <laughs> have anywhere to wear it to, but it needs to be hanging in my closet. And then I had this other jumpsuit she was like obsessed with as well. So she ended up, she's like, let me try them on because we're the same size. She's like, let me make sure I'd be ordering the right size. I'm like, damn girl, all right, go for it. The gold, chocolate gold Soleil. We need to fix that immediately. Okay, let's go in with my Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer. I feel like that's such an appropriate name for a bronzer that I would use. I'm going to add some more of that highlighting stick. I think I'm going to go with my Becca Champagne Pop. This is like my classic summer highlighter. I remember my birthday at like, oh my god, I'm gonna say like five years ago? Was it really that long? Maybe four, but I'm wearing this the night of my birthday going up. I'm gonna go with this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Kisses which is like a pretty coral. It almost has like a duochrome effect to it. I'm going to add some of this Buxom Wanderlust blush in Mykonos. That's kind of what I was going for. Okay, now we're going to clean it all up 
and make it look beautiful. I'm gonna take take some sort of like radiant powder. Oh, that's not a radiant powder, that's a bronzer. I'll take this vivid bake highlighter, because it's baked, it's not like really illuminating, and a large fluffy brush. And we're gonna buff and just buff that powder away, buff everything together, buff out the bronzer. Make sure everything is Gucci and spray it with some setting spray. I'm just going to use my MAC Fix Plus in Gold Lace, which is also an illuminating setting spray. Okay, I am going to go put on some lashes. I did not bring any down here and get dressed and I will be back. Okay, so I used some House of Lashes lashes and I forget the name of them. I apologize, but I do want to highlight my inner corner. So I'm going to use the Artist Couture Gold Digger again. I still can't believe that, that they're like identical. I mean, oh, it has to be fake. I, I don't know. It's, my mind is blown. So I really wanted to pair this with a coral lip. So I used the, my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in 818. And I originally had my hair in a bun, but I was like, no, this bodysuit needs this wig. I feel like I could be like the CEO of like a fashion magazine or something or like editor in chief with this work. <laughs> but I this is a fun way to do gold in the summer as opposed to, you know, in the fall with a darker lip and it still looks pretty and you can wear it on so many different occasions and the lip just gives it that kind of lightness. And yeah, I'm loving this look. So I really do like the Natasha Denona palette here. I just wish, I mean, it doesn't really bother me these days. There are so many palettes that come out these days that don't include highlight shades. And I do have plenty of highlighters. So it would be nice to have one in there, but I'm not going to let that ruin my opinion of it. It's a really nice palette. So let me know what you guys think of this look and the palette, and I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me. I've missed you guys. Alright, I will see you next time.